and welcome back to what it will hopefully be the final part of this long run of the longest journey. So last time we have ventured into the realm of the between and uh, we're about to take on the three trials to enter the tower. That must be the Guardian's Tower. It's either very small or very far away and from what I know of the balance it doesn't settle for economy sized. I think I'm in for a long walk. One might call it the longest journey. <laughs> I can't remember landing. I remember the wormhole, the dimensional shift, then this. The pod took a beating though. I don't think I'll be able to use it again. I mean, we don't really have anywhere to be for the, for the next thousand years. It's barren and lifeless. This world looks like it's on the verge of collapsing on itself. Anything else here? I think that's about it. Run off into the desert. There's the second pod, but I don't see... Adrian! He's not in here, so he must have survived the landing, but where is he? Adrian? Adrian! Turns out he made his way to the sun, and the sun started chanting upon him, Adrian Bird. Adrian Brody, Adrian Brody. It's Adrian's Adrian pod. Brody. It's empty. The tower's closer than it was before, so I'm making progress. Very slowly. There's nothing out here. It's completely barren. <coughs> Excuse me. Oh geez, not this thing again. Oh god, not that thing again. It's even bigger than before. I thought it couldn't leave Arcadia. I had no idea it could follow me all the way here. This thing has grown since I last saw it. If it's not stopped soon, it'll consume everything. Well, it's a chaos vortex. Let's throw it into balance. The talisman doesn't seem to affect the vortex. Maybe its magic isn't strong enough. Damn. Uh, bind magic. The magic might be able to bind the chaos vortex somehow. But if I try to throw the potion, we will just waste it. Hopefully... I guess he's not around. I should try again later. Well, that wasn't the answer. Also, our cash card is gone now, too. <clears throat> Let's see if we can combine this with anything. Oh. Oh, okay, we, we've uh, applied the binding magic to the Talisman of Balance. The Talisman of the Balance. Tobias gave this to me. I mean, it wouldn't be the first time that we've basically used something like a Pokeball. <laughs> I'm orange. She's orange. Orange, you glad she didn't say banana. <clears throat> if I had wings, I could fly across. Since I don't, I'll just have to head back down to the desert and try to find my way around the chasm. Well, 
Off we go. What is this? What <clears throat> is this? It looks like home. It's home. It's not, it's like a projection, but it's definitely the kitchen back home. The way it used to look when I was eight or nine. God, no, what's happening to me? What, who's there? Why are you like an elf? Come here, pumpkin. I got you something special. I don't like where this is going. Daddy, is that you? Hush, pumpkin. Come here. Daddy's got something for you. Can we shoot this Please, man? Please, Daddy, don't hurt me. Didn't I say to come here? Come here right now, bro. Daddy wants to give you something, pumpkin. Come on. I'm gonna stab you with this flute. Daddy looks so scary. I'm in my Sunday dress looking my best for church. It's our kitchen where mommy cooks breakfast, lunch, and dinner and cleans the dishes. Come to daddy, pumpkin. Come to daddy. And I will make everything No. Actually. Daddy, please, you don't want to hurt me. You're not a bad person. You're not. Really, d don't. I'm not your daddy. I'm not your daddy. You came into our lives and you destroyed us. You took advantage of us. You're a frightful little beast. But daddy, you gave me this. It's a good thing that I uh, remember to take it after I was uh, done with the machine. You gave this to me, Daddy. You do care. You do love me. You're just not very good at it. No. You destroyed us. We were a, a family and you... God forgive me. What have I done? What have I done to you? You did nothing, Daddy. It wasn't your fault. It wasn't your fault that I got hurt. I... I'd been drinking and I... She was so beautiful. My little April, you were so beautiful. We wanted to give you a home. We wanted to be what your biological parents couldn't be. A family. That night... When we brought you home, I'd had a few drinks with the guys. I was feeling, feeling a little dizzy. And, and then your mother, she says to me, hold her, hold your baby girl in your arms. And I take you and I hold you and you, you look up at me with such startled eyes like, like it's the first time you see somebody like me. I fell in love with you, my little baby. You were so beautiful. And you smiled at me, and then I... I don't know what happened. But I was, I was taking a step forward, and I stumbled. You fell to the floor. But you didn't cry. You didn't even whimper. When the doctors told us you would never walk... Oh, my baby, I couldn't stand the guilt. I... I don't know why that made me into the monster that I am. Why I decided that hurting you... was the only way I could face my shame. When you started walking... and then getting better and better at it... It was like you were mocking me. I was such a fool, a selfish fool, and now I... I lost you. Forever. You, you sure I did forgive you. Me. You do? 
Yes, I forgive you for everything. I forgive you. I forgive you, Daddy. So that's a thing that happened. Also, I noticed that our, uh, I noticed it before, but our, our inventory has shrunken again. The monkey is still here, which fascinates me. The tower is very close now. Those rocks look dark and forbidding, very ominous. The t tower is very close now. First night of adoption, he just played Edward for 40 hands. Finally, I thought I'd never make it here. Oh, great. There's a large canyon circling the tower, and there doesn't seem to be any way across. It's some kind of conical sandstone structure, reaching about a third of the way to the base of the tower. Okay. It's the Guardian's Tower. So close, yet so far away. If I only knew it was on the other side, perhaps I'd be able to find a way to get across. Foreboding clouds. Are you sure there are only four boating clouds? What if there are five of them? Or twelve? Maybe there are only three. Who knows? I mean, there's got to be a reason we still have this food, right? Well, how nice of you. <laughs> Breaking through the boundaries of reality. It worked! What? 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 Hello, old friend. April! What the heck? What happened? Yeah, what did happen? You're asking me? I was just, um, helping this cute little sparrow with her new nest up in Riverwood. Next thing I know, there's a blue light, and then... I thought for sure I'd been shot by a hunter's arrow and that you were an angel. Then I had to look around the place. This ain't heaven. No, uh, probably I mean, not, no. This ain't heaven, is it? I don't think it is. Sure it is, Crow, and I'm the Archangel April. Sweet! Are there any other birds in heaven? Hmm? Are there? Are there? Pretty ones? Hmm? Not so far. We got all the dodos you could ever want. <laughs> oh, that's great! That's... Dodos? Dodos? You gotta be kidding me! Oh, I see. You are kidding me. <laughs> Ha 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 ha, very funny. Why the heck did you bring me here to have a good laugh at my expense? Oh. I need to find a way across this canyon and into that tower over there. Why don't you just flap your wings and fly then? <laughs> oh, that's funny! I kill myself! Flap your wings and fly! Oh, baby! Well, I did Ooh, call myself the Archangel I gotta write that April. down somewhere. Wait, wait a minute. Oh, <laughs> flap your wings and fly! <laughs> Gee. Anyways, when did you ever need my help? Oh, sure, you brought me along. Let me do your dirty work once in a while. But come on! You could have done just as well on your own. I mean, you just left me high and dry at the end there, didn't you? Just up and left without a word of goodbye. I didn't mean to leave you like that, Crow, but you couldn't come with me. Oh, sure. Use me, then leave me. Don't worry, I know how that works. I'm not half as innocent as you seem to think. But I thought we were friends. Crow, we are friends. Good friends. That why you gave me the name Crow? Oh, I thought it was nice, all right. Real ring to it. Until I found out what a crow actually is over there in Stark. Crow. Right. Crow. The sneakiest, dirtiest, most despised bird there is. No, that's They're pigeons. like flying rats. You even have something called a scarecrow to chase us off with, don't you? 
I mean, crows are so stupid. They're scared off by straw people dressed in rags. <laughs> and that's the name you come up with? Crow? <laughs> Actually, they're really not that stupid. That's not... No? No excuses. I can't bear it. Oh, the pain. The pain. That's all I am to you, a flying flea bag? I'm sorry. I can't bear to look at you anymore. I gotta fly. Stay and shut up. I... But you... Gave you that name because of a cartoon character I loved when I was a kid. His name was Crowboy. Crowboy? He was the star of a series of what we call animated cartoons. It's like puppet theater. You can watch on a canvas or a screen. Puppet theater. I love puppet theater. Crowboy was just the coolest bird there ever was. He was a crow and a cowboy. And he had a hat and a lasso and an albatross called Old Whitey that he rode on. A he had an albatross? Bird. His own albatross? And every week he'd come to a new town where the bad guys were making life tough for everybody else. And he'd sort it out like a real hero. He was a hero? Crowboy? So that's why I called you Crow. I figured... You're not a cowboy, so it'll be just crow. And besides, I think crows are cool. Oh, damn, get right, get, get, you, you know, damn, you know, I, bruh, me and my big beak. I couldn't keep it shut, could I? I had to say something stupid. I'm so stupid, dumb, stupid, stupid, dumb, dumb, stupid. It was a misunderstanding, crow. It could have happened to anybody, even good friends, especially good friends. Yeah, yeah, but, but, but I'm so stupid. Are you going to keep beating yourself up, or are you going to help me? Time's running short. Of course I'm going to help you. Anything for you, April. Just tell old Crow what to do, and he'll do it. Like that. I can be a hero, too, just like Crow Boy. Okay, let me think. What happened to you after I left? I just flew around for a bit. Would you believe it, I actually went back to Mercuria Harbor to find the old man again, see what he was up to. I kinda miss him. I mean, I hate him and I hope his hair falls out, but we were together for 20 years, you know, and there were good days. Well, one at least, one good day. <laughs> okay. Anyways, he was gone. Not a trace left of him. Either he drowned, or he got out of town with the rest of them. What's going on in Arcadia now? Don't you know? There's a great big war going on, that's what. The Tyrant are rising against the nations of the Northlands, and Mercuria has been evacuated. A lot of people are getting killed, and it looks like the Tyrant might win this time around. They got this huge, swirling, chaotic-looking magical weapon on their side. Um, uh, not anymore, they don't. Really? Well, then maybe our guys do stand a chance after all. It was looking bleak there for a second, believe you me. I was even considering brushing up on my tyrant. Nian, or whatever it is those barbarians speak. Sounds like a bunch of guttural rubbish to me, you know, like, I'm not particularly refined, you know? Do you know what happened to my friends? Your friends? Sorry. No, oh, wait, 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 I think. That Venar you've been talking to? Abnaxus? I think I saw him heading north at a great speed. And Mr. Westhouse was kind enough to share a cup of whiskey with me when I went to ask him if he'd seen you. Good stuff. Bad, bad hangover. I mean, you probably shouldn't be drinking a that, lot as a bird. I don't know, sorry. Any idea what we should do? You're asking me? Me? You're actually asking me for advice? Me, huh? Don't see nobody else around, do you? I don't perform well when I'm put on the spot like this, you know. But, okay, I'm thinking. I got wings. If you need some flying done, I'm your man. Bird, I'm your bird. Thanks, Crow. Anytime, babe. I mean, ma'am. Miss... April, April, April. 
Good bird. Crow, can you fly across the canyon to the base of the tower? Can a chick lay eggs? Well, I know you can't, but... Yeah, I can do that. Um, what was it you wanted me to do again? Good job. Just fly across the canyon and see if you can find any weird buttons or levers or something like that. What for? There know. must be a way to cross this canyon, and maybe there's a magical bridge that needs to be activated. I don't know, Crow. Just fly across and check it out, okay? Will do. Hang on. What am I saying? Of course you'll hang on. It's not like you have any other choice. What did you find? No bridge, that's for sure. But there's a well on the other side, on top of that conical sandstone staircase right below the tower. It looked magical. It had that no good, stay the heck away blue shimmer to it. So I didn't fly any closer. Who knows where I'd end up? That's gotta be the well of making. Well, maybe it can be making us a bridge then. <laughs> Making us a bridge! I mean, I'm killing! I'm killing today! Good job. You're easily amused, Crow. My brain's one-tenth the size of yours. What do you want from me? But maybe you got a point. Maybe the well of making can help us somehow. It was only a joke, April. I know, but still. It's the well of making. Any idea? Well? Thanks. Yep. I mean, there's only one thing that we haven't used while we've been here. Crow, I want you to get me some water from the Well of Making. What? Are you crazy? How am I supposed to carry water back from... Oh, no. No, 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 no. There's no way I'm doing that. Come on, Crow. Your beak is perfect for the purpose. I don't need a lot of water, and all you have to do is make sure you don't swallow. Hey, magic's got its upsides, I'm sure. I mean, where would social welfare be without magic? But magic water in my beak? No way. What if I did swallow? If I'm lucky, I'll just explode or something. If not, I've heard stories, April, and none of them are very nice. Magic's not a toy, nor is it a food, and it certainly doesn't belong in my beak. Please, time's running short and the balance is at stake. You've got to help me, Crow. Don't you want to be a hero? Hero? Sure. Stooge? No. Oh, curses and damnation and all things mean and ugly. Fine. I'll put my life on the line, tempt fate, and risk a certain and painful death by magical poisoning if... If what? If you'll promise to pluck my fleas for the next, uh, year. One year? So honor and glory mean nothing to you? Not as much as a good flea plucking. No. Okay. Deal. Now, fly! Yay! I mean, we're gonna have a thousand of those to spend here, so, you know. How did it go? Oh, good. Oh, we got way of what to do. What do I want you to do? I can't take the water, so you're gonna have to do whatever it is we need done with it. Okay, let me think about it for a second. Now do we use the monkey? No. Are we going to use this for anything? Okay, let's... 
Not while he's got his beak full of water. He'll spray it all over the place. <coughs> Sorry, but I couldn't hold it any longer. Thanks, Crow. Yep. Crow, we need some more water for- Of course we do! One does not simply use the monkey, or it must do the monkey. You okay? Uh, I'm all well. Okay, let's see. Where can we use the water? Without knowing what's down there, I don't see how that's gonna work. He's already got a beak full of water. Yeah, I'm not really sure. I'm not really sure what my target is here. And the only thing that I can think of is... I don't see any point in wasting the water on the tower. Yeah, no. Alright, where do I use this water? In the case of needing to know where you're using it before you can actually use it there. The canyon's filled with dense fog blocking my view, but it's definitely a very long way down and the walls look much too steep to climb. I'd love to have a look at what's down there. I see. Not while he's got a- <clears throat> so Thanks. Yep. Crow, I need you to fly down into the canyon to see what's below the fog. Into the... canyon? Below the fog? Are you scared? I didn't say that. It's just... well... Fog clings to my feathers and... and... Would Crowboy do it? <laughs> Crowboy would do it. But he'd be careful not to get hurt. And he'd come right back up again if he saw anything remotely dangerous. Of course! Okay. Hold tight, I'll be back soon. I mean, he, Crowboy is a cartoon character after all. So what did you see, Crow? What was below the fog? You're not gonna believe me. What? I told you, you're not going to believe me. Just tell me what you saw. Nothing. Nothing? As in nothing out of the ordinary? No, as in nothing at all. The absence of anything. Below the fog, there was nothing. It was terrifying. Until you've seen what nothing looks like, you won't be able to fully appreciate something. Anything at all. I used to hate this blue sand. I mean, blue sand? What the heck? Now, though, I love it. It's sand, and it's blue. It's something, not like that. Nothing down there. It was freaky. So there's no way I can climb down, cross over, and climb up on the other side? You'll fall into the nothing. I'm telling you, I don't even think time passes down there. You'd be falling through nothing forever. Damn. I mean, if it's anything like Minecraft, you just eventually Crow, hit the void we need some more and start dying. You okay? Uh, oh. Okay. I got an idea, Crow. Uh. You said there was nothing down there, right? The absence of anything. Uh. The water in your mouth is magical water from the Well of Making. Whoa. So what if we add the magic of making to nothing? What happens then? Um... Something, right? Uh, I like it. Something's better than nothing. Fly down there and spit the water out on top of the nothing. Then get out quickly. Something will happen, I'm sure of it. 
I'm just not sure again. what exactly. Oh, well, well, we'll go. There we go. Oh. Oh. That's something, all right. But what? I mean, it's clearly a path. Crow! 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 Oh, please let him be all right, wherever he is. One magic bridge. No, no rainbow drop required. It's I mean, what do you think this was? Kirby's here. Dreamland. This too. is it. The end of the road. All I have to do now is figure out how to get up into the tower. I thought I'd already passed the three trials. There's always something. I guess it's not supposed to be easy. Ah, Dragon Warrior. Gotcha. Well. Yeah. I guess this must be the well of making. It's not as imposing as I thought it would be. Not even close. It's the well of making. It's very deep and very clear and obviously magical. So clearly the solution is to use the, the monkey on this, right? No. Why do we still have the monkey? So we just kind of casually flush the well of making. Final boss requires defeating him by doing the monkey. <laughs> Hand over the monkey. The water has shaped itself into a hand. Ah, so so it's like the secret boss of of uh, Panoply of Kalatea. Game over. Return of Uncool. Wait a minute. You get your hand out of there. Hi. Thank God you came. I thought you were lost for good. My path here diverged from yours. You had to pass the three trials. You were right in warning me. This place is like a Freudian nightmare. The first psychologist to arrange field trips here will rake in a fortune. I mean, talk about shock therapy. It is a sacred place. Only the chosen few can pass through the desolation. But then why didn't my hand work on the well of making? I mean, I passed all the tests, right? That is a mystery. You are to be the 13th guardian, are you not? The balance has picked you. Your hand should have unlocked the tower like mine did. Why did it still react to your hand? Even though I left the tower, I am still the current guardian, and I will continue to be until you go through the ritual and take my place. Hold on. I think we're about to move. The tower is letting us in. The truck have started to move. I feel asleep. Oh 
great. Look at this asshole. I never thought I would see this place again. It's cold. Was it always this cold? I do not know. When I was here last, I did not feel much at all. Well, I'm freezing. I spent more than 1,000 years in this tower, and yet I cannot remember ever feeling warm or cold. Being Guardian, there is just the balance and our duty to it. You didn't feel anything? There are no emotions. Emotions interfere with the balance. I was the conduit between magic and logic, between chaos and order. And I had to be... clean. That sounds horrible. It's it never felt to that way. To you. I was... content. As far as it was possible for me to be content. Until the very end, when I became restless. That's when you left the tower? I had no choice. The balance forced me out. I was polluting the flows that passed through me, through this room, and it was time for someone to succeed me. So now it's... it's my turn. To be Guardian. Are you afraid? I've never been so afraid in my life. A thousand years. Everything will be gone when I'm... when I'm done. My friends, my family... dead. My world I mean, probably changed beyond world. recognition. I know, April. I have experienced this myself. When I returned to Stark, I could not believe that all the things I knew, the memories of a life that I recalled as clearly as if it were only yesterday, they were all gone. I was lost, alone, dying, until the Vanguard picked me up from the street and imprisoned me. It shames me to say it, but that was a relief. To be fed, to sleep comfortably, to be warm. You have every right to be afraid. But consider this. Your sacrifice will be the salvation of mankind, of two worlds. What greater gift is there? What greater reward than to know you are like a god? Believe me, I could do without the reward. If there was any other way, I'd embrace it in a second. But I won't shy away from this either. If it is my destiny, then so be it. Good. To wish for the loss of dreams and emotions would be wrong. But to acknowledge it in the face of your fears, this proves you are ready. Okay. So, what now? What do I do? Just walk to the edge of the disk. The tower will know what to do. If you are the new guardian, the tower will embrace you. All right, here it goes. One thousand years. Now what? Nothing's happening. You are right. Then it is as I suspected. What? What did you suspect? That you are not the one chosen to take my place in the tower. You are not the 13th Guardian. Thanks, pardon me. But if I'm not, then... I think I may be able to answer that question, Miss Ryan. You! What are you doing here? Uh, how the hell did you get here? You didn't think your little games back at the station would fool anyone, did you? Well, aside from those moronic and useless guards. It puzzles me why Mr. McAllen could be such a visionary and yet be so lacking in his comprehension of human nature to surround himself with brainless louts. Maybe because he wasn't human. He was not. That would explain a lot. If he was not human, then what was he? You mean, you didn't know? He was your boss, and you had no idea who you were working for. How pathetic can you get? 
Don't toy with me, child. Don't you dare toy with me. I... I... don't. I do not know what came over me. I'm not prone to anger. In fact, I'm usually quite incapable of it. Must be the environment that's... I don't feel quite right. Like there's something in here that's calling to me. What are you doing to me? I don't know what you're talking about, Gordon. No matter. I can ignore this. It's so hot in here. Don't you feel it? The heat? It's good. I'm morning. freezing. Maybe you should lie down for a minute or two. <laughs> Maybe you should lie down, Miss Ryan. I actually have a good reason to be here, but you do not. After all, you are no longer a candidate in this race, are you? I mean, that's what I was I saying, I may not Alex. become the new guardian, but neither will you. The balance will never accept you. Don't be so sure, April. I... Uh, th that's your name, is it not? April? Yeah. I will be the Guardian. The Balance will have no choice. Not with you and the previous Guardian. Gone. And I'm... <laughs> I slapped out you, Jeff Goldblum. I'm, there's something... Here. Isn't there? Someone's calling my name. Someone's... No. No! Not that. Not here. You brought it here, you stupid bitch! Stop! Oh, they fight. It's a large disc with the ring around it, made out well, of two stone serpents biting each other's tails. One of the serpents has almost completely swallowed the other. Gordon's the stronger one. He'll win if I don't do something. Adrian's not going to be able to hold out against Gordon forever. Okay. Is this really where this comes into play? It's not a window. More like a mirror or a portal, with swirling blue mist outside, and decorated with an image of a flaming eye. Maybe I use... No! Stay away from me! Okay. Don't! No! That would have been that would have been funny though if there was a uh, an Easter egg like this the last fight it's a tense moment and you use the friggin monkey. What happened to him? I I'm alive again. Y you gave me back my life. I did. You don't sound like yourself. Are you okay? I do sound like myself, and I'm better than I've ever been, April. I I'm whole again. So it worked? The joining of two halves? Magic and logic. Order and chaos. I'm in balance now. I am balance, and it's glorious. I'm sorry for what I did to you, April. And to you, sir, I I'm sorry for everything. It wasn't you. Not all of you, anyway. It was me. But it misguided me. I, I wish I could undo all the harm I've done to both worlds. 
both as Gordon Holloway and as the Chaos Vortex. Wait, you were the but Chaos Vortex? I can't undo my actions. All I can do is make sure they'll never happen again. And the only way to ensure that is by becoming the Guardian. You? The Guardian? It's my destiny, April Ryan, not yours. I was born to be the Guardian. And although the Vanguard almost managed to prevent that from ever happening, they didn't succeed. And now, I'm ready. Thanks to you. But what about me? If I'm not going to be the Guardian, then who am I? That's something I cannot answer for you, April. Only you can do that. But I don't think the universe is done with you. You are important. Just not in the way you imagined. He speaks the truth, April. He is to be the Guardian now. It was always his destiny, even though it was taken from him by the Vanguard. We will begin the changing of the guards now, Gordon. And you, April. Thank you. Thank you for your sacrifice, your courage, your kindness. Okay, stop. You're making me feel very self-conscious. I only did what had to be done. Which is more than most people would have done. Your journey here will be remembered, April Ryan. Remembered and retold for all time. Right now, I'm only concerned about what's coming next. Where do I go now? Where can I go? That is your choice to make. But do not fret. This world will never hurt you again. How do I get back to Stark? Or Arcadia, for that matter? Walk. Walk until you are outside, and then go back inside. It is easy from here. You can go anywhere you wish. I guess then that this is goodbye. Perhaps we will meet again. Yeah, why not? It's not an impossible thought. Anyway, you guys have an important job to get to. Don't let me hold you back. Thank you. Goodbye. Yeah, goodbye. What? What just happened? So that's the end of that. Funny. I feel almost melancholy, despite everything that's happened. I'm actually gonna miss this. this adventure. After all, what am I doing now? Going back to school? Live like nothing has happened? Like I'm just a... a normal person? Well, it's a long way home. I'll figure it out before I get there. Wherever there is. Huh? Hey! Hey, April, wait up! Where are you going? Wait! Don't leave me yeah. here! Oh, we got an epilogue too. All right. And so the story goes. Weren't they children when this Is started? that it? But whatever happened to April Ryan? And did that man, Gordon Halloway, become a good and just guardian? That is the end. If you had studied your scriptures, child, you would know that the 13th guardian was the last guardian to watch over the balance. Was it after his reign adults? that the worlds were reunited? During his reign. Not long after the events I have just described. Please tell us more. Tell us what happened to April and about the reunification of Stark and Arcadia. 
I think I will save those stories for another night. I'm feeling tired, and it is late. I would see you out, but my legs... Thank you, Lady Alvani. We'll find our way out ourselves. Thank you again for your hospitality and for your story. And so the story goes. How strange it was to tell it again, to remember April Ryan. That was such a long, long time ago. And now, now my story is almost over as well. Uh, you're as healthy as ever. You still got a lot of life left in you. Wish Wait, I was half as lucky. Don't say that. You're okay. You can still fly. Fly, yes. <laughs> but those cute little birds, they don't seem to appreciate that. They're holding out for their young, handsome suitors, and they don't have time for an old crow like me. Well, you got me, crow. Isn't that something? I guess. Yeah, sure. <laughs> oh, of course. Unless you're not planning on going out there again, are you? On a new adventure? Because, I don't know, I'm kind of happy staying here. Don't worry, Crow. I think our adventuring days are over. But that doesn't mean we can't tell stories, does it? No. Definitely not. Tell me one. Tell me the one about the young, beautiful warrior princess who single-handedly won the War of the Balance. Hmm. I don't remember it quite like that, Crow, but let's see. This story begins a long, long time ago, when Stark and Arcadia were still to be reunited, and the Guardian was still on his throne. So that was April the entire time. Okay, sure. Well, we're at the end of the game. Ah, uh, I... I am not a fan of that ending. It's like the entire game is just like, you're the guardian, April Ryan. You're the guardian. You specifically are the guardian. Here is why you're the guardian. No one else is the guardian. Now this guy's the guardian. I'm sorry, what? Uh... I mean, it's not the worst ending that I've seen. I, I have seen much worse ending twists within the long run series. But it's kind of down there. <laughs> um, yeah, I mean... I will say, like, as far as just in general, like, point and click adventure games are not super my thing. And there are definitely some interesting story, like, and, and like, April Ryan is a great character on her own, but, like, the, so, some of the story takes a long time to kind of start winding up and like I don't know it's not one that that really resonated all that much with me but uh, I can see where it would be something that you know someone especially uh, you know, around 1999 2000 when like around the time this game came out like would really be able to kind of get into it
Roper Clax, Brian Westhouse, and Jacob McCall. Like, that's what I kind of figured as far as the voices go. It's like, they only had so many voice actors for all of these characters, so you had, like, even some of the more important roles, you had, you know, one person for multiple characters, which kind of comes through sometimes. Obviously, you only have the one voice actress for April Ryan, which at least there's that, right? So before this, like, Monkey L and Day of the Tentacle, King's Quest at really high bars, yeah? Anyway, um, am I gonna put the second game on the queue? I'm going to say no. Am I going to accept if someone sends me a request for it? Eh. I would argue that if you're going to put in 10,000 points for a request, which by the way, as soon as the stream ends, it's going back down to 10,000 because I finished this game. But if you're going to put down 10,000 points for a request, make it something that we'll both enjoy. And not, again, not to say that I didn't enjoy this game, but it just could have resonated a little better, I think. There are better people to be playing this game. <laughs> slap down $10,000. Well, if you want to slap down $10,000, I have some details on the on the shutdown screen here. I've had this for a while, but I do have a Libera Pay account. And if you don't know what Libera Pay is, it's basically Patreon with a couple of changes. First of all, there are no reward tiers, there are no rewards. It's actually against TOS to offer rewards, but there are also no platform fees. And because there's no rewards, there's no sales tax. So what I'm saying is if someone puts in money into my Libera Pay, more of it is going to actually get to me. Um, yeah, I've had it for a while, haven't actually mentioned it anywhere, figured I should probably start doing that. Um, I don't think you need an account specifically, you can just... Uh, it kind of works off both PayPal and Stripe. I don't know, like, 100% how it works, but anyway, it's there. Um, so yeah, thanks for uh, coming out. Uh, thank you for the thousand bits, Zero. <laughs> and thanks to uh, Zero, J-Pop, Alex, Tarion, Zen for hanging out tonight. As well as, of course, Foos and Mazzy for uh, requesting this game. Um, for $10,000 we can play Shadowgate. Why not? I, I will play... Yeah, $10,000. I will play Shadowgate for the Nintendo. I will play Shadowgate the remake. I will play Shadowgate uh, the original Mac Venture. And I'll play Beyond Shadowgate if you really want me to. <laughs> Alright. Um, so yeah. Uh... Thanks for, for coming out. The next schedule stream is going to be uh, on Sunday at 8 p.m. or later Atlantic Daylight Time. It is the Sunday Super Shuffle. Uh, there was a, an update to Archipelago, but it's purely a bug fix update, except there's a couple of extra features for StarCraft 2, but I don't think anyone's going to be playing that, so it's pretty much business as usual, just some bug fix and stuff. Uh, that takes us round week around the wheel for our next uh, Tuesday stream, which I said was going to be Lost in Time. I'm still going to play Lost in Time, but um, there's a piece of news that came out earlier today. And quite frankly, I don't want to have to wait. So um, on Tuesday is going to be a safe mode stream. 
and I am actually going to be playing Final Fantasy XIV um, because the new patch 6.5 is coming out. So I'm going to be doing the uh, story quests for um, for the new patch rather than go directly into uh, Lost in Time. It may be a shorter stream, or I may just kind of keep going for four hours and just kind of do some uh, roulettes or something to fill to fill up whatever additional time may be uh, remaining. Shivers from Final Fantasy XI PTSD. Yeah, I mean it's it's a big time sink. I understand that, but uh, yeah. So next Tuesday is going to be Final Fantasy XIV. Tuesday after that is going to be Lost in Time. And Tuesday after that is going to be our next long run. Uh, so yeah, that's going to about do it. Thanks for hanging out with me for this uh, longest of journeys. I'm Coolio if you don't know, and I'll see you guys next time. <laughs>